When Isla invited me to curate an exhibition in their space, I immediately thought of Ulises Carrion because he is an artist archivist by excellence. In this, he responded perfectly to the mission of Isla to promote uh, scholarly initiatives related to Latin American art and also to the collection of archives that had been amassing throughout the years and putting available for researchers. Carrion was born in 1841 um, and he was born in the state of Veracruz in Mexico. He moved to Mexico City to study literature at the Universidad Autónoma de México and later he moved to Europe to do graduate studies in linguistics and literature. He lived in France, Germany and England until finally settled in Amsterdam in 1972. There he connected with Raúl Marroquín and the artists around the In-Out Center, a hub for the avant-garde in the city. This inspired him to open in 1975 Other Books and So, which was a library and cultural space and that was to become a very important center for male art internationally. The exhibition here reunites um, 10 projects that Carrion did in between 1973 and 1983. Male art developed in the 1970s as a way to go beyond the constraints of the art market and also of the constraints of the institutions, but also as a way to create more connectivity and international networks among artists, sharing their experiences, aesthetics and ideas of the avant-garde. The exhibition is called The Big Monster, responding to the title of a manifesto that Ulises Carrion was to write in 1977. In this text, he wrote the very recent history of the movement and also imagined a different future for it. He found that male art uh, was more interesting when it was not simply about male art pieces, but when it was about uh, subverting the traditional ways in which we thought about male itself. He found that male art so far had not subverted and had not altered the male distribution systems of the postal service, thus being subject to potential censorship. In this, he said, male art was knocking at the doors of the big monster. The first piece in the exhibition is a poem from 1973. That piece consists of index cards, 30 of them, that he shared with artists and friends asking them to either erase or not part of the index card. They were to sign it and return. A more complex project happened in 1977, Definitions of Art, where he invited artists to respond to what was art for them, and he received hundreds of responses. In 1978, and responding to his concerns about the big monster and the postal system, he created EAMIS, the Erratic Art Male International System. That was a subversion, a parodic subversion of the postal service, in which he himself was the postmaster, and where pieces were transported by friends from one place to another. The exhibition also includes two magazines that he was part of, and that in which he collaborated, Common Press Magazine, in which he was invited to edit an edition around the topics of box, boxing and boxers, and Ephemera, a magazine from which 12 issues were done in between 1977 and 78, that became the center for exchange of most male artists in Europe and Latin America. Finally, the exhibition includes feedback pieces, which is uh, probably the most complex of all the works included. It consisted of an instruction that Carrion sent to friends and artists in which the lower part of the invitation consisted a manifesto about what male art was. But that was shipped to artists, turned into pieces. Artists were invited to reconstruct the work and to send back that in any shape or form they wanted. The variety of responses was very interesting, including many conceptual artworks, performance registrations, and even objects. The exhibition design responds to the archival quality of these pieces and to the subversion of the difference in between art and archive that Carrion was proposing. Here we decided to put everything on the walls and also we decided to show it on the archival sleeves in which they are usually stored. 
What we can see throughout this exhibition and throughout the work of Ulysses Carrion and his intervention in the male art movement, male art went well beyond the idea of sharing pieces by the male. It was a way also to communicate ideas beyond the Iron Curtain of the Cold War.